Well, hello, peeps. This little Yorkie is nearly 12 years old. Would you believe it? And this little devil, she is still a pup and wants to play all the time. They usually get on alright, but from time to time, the young one can be a bit hard to take for the little Yorkie, especially when she wants to rest. So that's why I've decided to build a little dock crate for her, where she can hide and have a bit of peace and quiet. The entire build is made from a scrap wood which I fished out from a wood skin. These are mainly chopped up pallets which are not exactly straight and true, so I'm gonna have to take care of that on my homemade jointer. If you are wondering how I made this jointer, just follow the link at the top to see a video of a full build. First I'm playing a face and then one side on all the planks. This will give me two flat surfaces square to each other. Now I can pass them through my homemade table saw which will make a parallel cut with the other side. This way I have three sides of each plank perfectly flat and true. Now I need to measure and cut all the planks to the sizes that I need. The crate needs to be big enough so that the Yorkie can comfortably turn around and fully stretch inside of it. And here we have it, pallet wood machine so it's reasonably square and straight. Now I arrange my first side panel on a table and I can mark where all the other mating panels meet. This will give me an idea of a measurement for the plywood insert. So let's do a quick rip cut. Then cut the insert to a correct length. And it's all been strictly supervised of course. Now I can join the pieces together using the good old Gorilla Glue for the structure and PVA for the panel insert. Align the insert with the mating lines and drive in a few staples to keep it in place. Link at the top takes you to a full review of my Titan nail gun. The top piece will be attached at a later stage as now I need to make another panel for the opposite side using the same methods as making the first one. So now I've got the other panel at the same stage, I can glue in the both top pieces and clamp them down using my DIY sash clamp. I'll let these set overnight. Let's put in some slats and to keep the gaps even, I've made this dedicated spacer. You've got to love these things making your job slightly easier. Clamp it down, let it set and repeat the same to the other panel. In the meantime I can make a start on a face panel, for that I'm using an offcut of a coat hanger that I made in the past. Now I'm marking few lines for the little door. The straight ones I'll tackle on my miter saw, and the rest I'll cut out with a jigsaw. Quick tidy up with a file and sandpaper and here we have it. But it looks like I need to narrow the bottom piece down as there would be an unwanted lip in the middle of the door. Shoot in few staples clamp it down and let it set again. So let's repeat the same process for the back panel. No need for a fancy door here. But I'm going to add the same decorative future next to the both panels. So now that I have all four panels done, I can tape them together to find out measurements needed for making the top and the bottom panel. These are a lot easier to make, since they consist of just a simple frame and a big plywood inset. Now that the last panel is done, I can sand them all down and take those rough edges off. I'm only doing the inside for now. Finally, let's assemble the crate. And for that I'm using lots of glue and heavy duty staples of course. Luckily it all fits together quite nicely and those plywood inserts sitting proud over the pallet wood frame are forming nice rabbit joints around each panel. This will help the structure to be a lot stronger. Definitely starts taking the shape now. So let's attach the face panel on hinges as last. This will give us a fair chance to clean inside in case the Yorkie makes any mess. Now I'm making a little door latch. The round shape can be easily achieved on my DIY bench sander. I'm fitting it next using a screw. The next job is to sand the grate all around so it's nice and smooth. And once that's done, let's prepare for the most exciting part, the paint. I have to do three coats all together, as the blue was still shining through the second one. But I suppose painting is easier than trying to sand the blue off. Now we are done with the paint, let's attach the small door on hinges and add a few more touches. This door stop is final piece to the puzzle. The only thing that is left is to hope that the Yorkie gets used to her new hiding place. But you know what, the heated blanket inside certainly does the trick. And as always, if you have enjoyed this video, please like, share or subscribe. It helps me create more.